Hi YouTube, this is Felicia with Bible Scraps and welcome to another Tuesday morning crafts video. You guys, if you have a Tuesday morning, you want to get to it as quick as you can. If you are interested, this is one of my fave We Are Memory Keepers punch board systems. You guys, Tuesday morning, got them in the house. The word punch board, in addition to it, you hopefully can pick up the number and the symbol punches that you use with the punch board. I will have pictures of the SKUs in this video. You guys, oh my goodness, this system, like many of their punch boards, you can use all year long, but I don't know of one that's like this. In the video, I offer a review on both systems. Well, it's one system, but both letters and numbers. And in the video, oh my goodness, I offer tips, but we are going to make, because it is Christmas in July, right? We're going to make these fun word strips. And I do test out chipboard and acetate. You got to watch the video to see what work and what don't work. But you guys, oh my goodness, you can personalize any name. Um, any phrase, you can make these strips for your children's books. You can write a book if you wanted to. You guys, it's a fun collection to have. I will have these linked as well um, because you may not find them at your Tuesday morning store. But it's so fun. But you have to subscribe because I am going, well, these are the perfect tags. Last year, I shared a video. I hacked Tim Holtz chipboard Christmas tags I made my own using the brother P touch well I'm gonna make more but using the punch the letter and number punch board system it is so fun you guys okay if you're interested well watch this video and don't forget to check the links in the description so box. I've already unboxed my unit and it comes nicely wrapped with this foam type wrapping you get your instructional sheet, you get your actual punch board thingy here. Now, a lot of your letter punches will come connected just like this. You get about five or six that comes inside of this unit and the rest you have to detach from one another. Now, you might or it might require some muscle to detach these let me grab two that has been detached the way they connect because it took me a minute to figure out how to detach it well the way it attaches is this little notch goes up like that so when you are separating the letters you need to press I'm gonna actually pull the one to the right down and the way I do it is to depress the punch and push it down like that. Now this one was easier to separate because I had already separated it. This one here, I haven't separated it. So, oh, it requires more muscle. Yeah. If you have hands or problems with your hands and fingers, you might want to have someone else do this. Let's see if I do it. Okay. Nope. I I was sitting down when I did the others. Okay. Okay. Well, it seems to be a little bit easier when I hold it upside down like that and pull towards me. What I will do is use WD-40 and spray add some oil it don't even have to Maybe be I'll WD take a swab and add baby oil in there so it won't be so difficult to separate in the future but I guess once you do it the first time the other times are easier yeah so just keep right, that so in I mind my fan going I hope you guys can hear me here's the box once again and here is the skew if you are interested. In the box comes the alignment guide base and 26 letters. 
So you get one of each letter. Now, I'm so happy I kept this little box that came right from Mexico. It was filled with different Mexican candies that, by the way, tasted so good. Um, it's a good idea if you can store your, your letters alphabetized in a similar type container. And the directions are really simple and straightforward. I have not watched any tutorials using this. I will pause this video um, and check some videos out. But it states, place your characters of choice inside the base. All right, so let's spell out Jesus. Why not, right? Now, you have this notch in the front. And, you know, it just sits right in there. Let's see, this holds one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Would it be ten? Ten characters? So let's, let's spell out Jesus. J-E-S. You. Okay, so Jesus has two S's. According to the direction, it states if... A word has a repeated letter leave punch space for it so I'm gonna leave this s blank then it states to take a piece of cardstock enter paper and a line to punch so I guess the left side of the cardstock would be flush up against this bar here uh oh will it go in oh Look, you guys, I put the S in backwards. You have to have the notch facing forward. So, uh, J-E-S-U-S. -S. So now it should go in. Yes, it goes in flush with no problems. And then the next step is to punch by pressing down on a lid. This is step three. Okay, punch through with no problem. I did use both hands. Oh, and look at here, you guys. Ah! J. Sue. <laughs> okay, so. Step four states, remove paper. We've done that. Step five. Place repeated letter into correct punch base. And if you look at step six, I'm supposed to leave the remaining letters in. So I need this S. I'll put it right here. And uh-oh. Uh-oh. Can I do that? Okay. Make sure your letter is positioned correctly in the compartment. Alrighty. Let's see. By the way, you guys, this is the first time I'm using this which is with you all. Okay, so let's punch. Oh, look at there, you guys. I like it. That is nice. Okay, and then it states, um, well, here are some, some tips. If punches jam, push punch button to release. We haven't had any jamming. But step B states, cut paper down to 5 8 inch for perfectly centered letters on strip. Okay, so where is my paper? Okay, you know, look I'll at it, you guys. I like that. That is nice. And I I didn't follow the 5 8 measurement. That's just too much work for my little brain right now. But I do like how that looks. And I'll just take a pair of scissors and trim like that. Oh, look at that, you guys. That is nice. I like it. And you know what? You can back it with another color cardstock and look at that oh my goodness you can personalize any name any phrase haha <laughs> that was so easy okay let's do it again oh you know let's refer back to the instructions when you are done it states remove base to retrieve letters uh, okay I guess we can do that when we're done because we are not done okay you guys so far that's been really simple, right? I like that. And I, an idea just hit my brain. We are going to, um, yeah, we're going to do that in this video. But I love this.
this. You know, I wonder if this, hmm, I wonder if it can punch out Recollections Chipboard and Acetate. We also have to test that out in this video. But let's spell summer. Okay, so we'll put the J back, and once again, it's nice if you can alphabetize, if you have something to store your letters in, so you can keep it in order. Uh, you know, we need all of these for summer, so, oh, here it is. That's what that next step was. Look, remove base to retrieve letters. It didn't dawn on me, ding dong, Felicia. There's letters right there. Yeah, so you could use these, these negative pieces, which are really positive pieces. They're little, but you can incorporate those in your crafting as well. Okay, so cool. All right, so now let's spell summer. Remember, the notch should be facing forward. S, and because I have mines alphabetized, it should be easier to find. Here's the U and the M. Now, Summer has two M's, but we just have one M, so I'm going to leave a space for the next M. And then the E. And then we need R. And make sure they're, whoops, sorry for that shake shake, you guys. I need to make sure they're aligned perfectly in their compartment. It looks like it is. Okay, now let's use this beautiful lime color cardstock. Align it flush to the left. And, well, let's double check to make sure I spelled it correctly. Summer is spelled S-U-M-M-E-R. Yep. Okay. That was easy. Oh, there it goes, you guys. Ha-ha, <laughs> I love it. You guys, I had not seen this tool before. I didn't even know it existed. We are memory keepers. They got so many different punch boards. I first heard of it maybe a couple months ago. Hey, frequent, uh, the funny frequent. <laughs> she, she told me about it a couple months ago. She said Tuesday morning had it. I could have seen it and didn't know what it was. Oh, what did I do? Okay, I just did something, you guys. I was not paying attention. This is what I came up with, S-U-M-M-E-R. So it did spell out summer, but it's not aligned correctly. So what did I do? Hmm. I don't know what I did wrong. Okay, let's do it again. I'm going to put this... S or this M right there. Flip my paper over. Okay, that's how it looks. And I need to move this M right here. Let's punch it again. You want to keep your paper the same orientation. Like, don't flip it. Keep it the same way. Oh, and you see, there's the M I punched out. So be mindful of that. I think I'm, I think you're supposed to see the letter that's already been punched. So now let's see. Now that's better. I have to watch the video to see what I did differently here because the space between the U and M, that's too much space between the U and M and the M and E. But I did it correctly that time. Okay, and look how that beautiful, what color is this? Cosmic Grape, I think, by Fun Stamper's Journey. And this is, uh, I forget this color, but it's pretty together. Okay, let me grab some acetate and recollections. So I have my acetate and I have my recollections chipboard, which I hope Michael still carry because... I need to restock. Okay, um, let's spell out 
Christmas because it is Christmas in July. And by the way, you guys, you can make the cutest name and word tags. You can really personalize your Christmas gifts this season with this tool. So I, I spelled out Christmas, but Christmas has two S's. So I need to punch twice. And this is the Recollections chipboard. Let's see if, if it'll fit. It's thicker than paper. Got to bend down a little bit. Okay, it might be too thick, you guys. Let's see. Nope. By the way, you can punch individually. Oh, I don't think chipboard is going to work. Okay, because I just tried to and that's a little hard on my hands. So, I'm going to put my chipboard away. We can test out acetate. So, it would be a good idea to test it out first. Though, I do believe you can get more power in your punch when you use this. But, well, it kind of sort of went through there. I'm willing to try this acetate. Though, I probably have to cut it down. Well, let's see. It's definitely thin enough. Nope. So this acetate is not going to work either. Okay, and I'm perfectly fine with that because just to be able to use cardstock, right? Okay, this is my tip for you guys. We all have washi tape, don't we? Many of us hoard it. Layer some washi tape down. And it shouldn't have a problem punching through. Oh, Oh, but then again, it did. Okay, so washi tape with this particular card stock, and this is Fun Stamper's Journey, is not going to work. Um, these punches, they're not power punches like the other punches that we use, but you, you could still incorporate washi tape. What you can do, well, you could use a thinner piece of paper, or what you can do is use washi in the background. For instance, add your washi and you can layer, layer your word over. Let's try this one. It's like pattern paper. So it's basically like using pattern paper. And of course, your results will vary contingent upon what type of cardstock you use to make your word and what type of washi tape you use. So we know it punches through cardstock with no problem, but it may not work with the 110 pound cardstock. Um, I have some, you know, I'll see if I can find it, but I do want to use some mirror. Okay. I don't know who this is by. It's probably Crafter's Companion. This should punch through with no problem because it is cardstock. And when you put your paper in, your letters might shift a little, but they should shift back in place. Okay, let's punch. Well, first, let's see if we have it spelled right. Yep. Yep, that punched through. And look at that. Chris Ma. So let's bring this S over right here. You see how the C popped up? It will help to bend down a little bit. And look at that, you guys. Christmas! Love it! Okay, I'm going to cut this down. And then, you guys, there's the number accessories um, collection that just came in to Tuesday morning this week. So we'll work All with right, that. All right, you guys. And here is the number collection. Some of you may have seen this. I purchased mine. You know what? It was last week. Yeah, I got this last week. And I got the the letter collection today is yesterday. I got it Monday. Okay, but I don't think, well, these may have, 
I don't know if we had a special ad Sunday. But anyway, I just saw the one at my store last night. And the other store didn't have any. So, I don't think Tuesday morning got many of these in. Because when they came in, whenever they came in several months ago, I think only one or two came in. Now, selection will vary by store. Some stores may have gotten a lot in. Some stores, unfortunately, probably didn't and won't get any in. It all just kind of depends. But um, when I purchased this one, I got it right from the cart, and I only seen the one in the cart. That don't mean others were not put out, and it don't mean others will not be put out. Tuesday morning, get things in waves. Some more might come in with the next shipment. They might come in in a couple weeks, a couple months. I don't know. Um, but anyway, here's the number set. It's $9.99. Now, many of you don't have a Tuesday morning, and many of you have Tuesday mornings, and you probably won't find this. If I could find a link online, I will link it. I love this set, you guys. It's perfect Perfect timing, right, for Christmas and July, but you could use this tool all year. Okay, so the numbers work in the same way, and you know it's a good idea to keep this plastic base, the numbers come in, and perhaps even keep the packaging Oops, to sit the letters back in it. Okay, so some are connected. Okay, so I detach these and you do want to pay attention to the orientation to make sure you're pulling apart the right way. Some of them I was working against the grain. But even if you work with the grain, it can still require some muscle. Some will be easier to separate than others, but once again, if you have hand issues, get someone to help you. And by the way, you not only get numbers, but you get the exclamation, you get the pound symbol and the and symbol. Where is the at? We need the at symbol. Okay, so that spells Christ nice wood paper. All right. Now it's curled towards the tip. Make sure it's spelled correctly. Yep. Okay, that required a little bit more punch power, but nonetheless it worked. And I'm not sure if you heard that, but some of the punches just released. So, for your thicker, oh, and you see this one is jammed. The C is jammed and the 9 is jammed. The direction states, if punches jam, push punch button to release. Okay, you see that? I. Okay, the C released. Let's just do this again. Okay, the nine wants to be stubborn. So I just pulled it out slightly and the nine did release. So this is probably as thick as I can go. It's the wood paper. I picked up this from Create and Craft. You can probably barely see the word. Let me cut this down. Okay, so this is how it looks. Ooh, I like that. And with this wood paper, I don't want this gap to be that wide between Christ and 19. So... How could I have, what I could have did was brought my letter closer. Let's do that. So there's a big difference. Just by moving the one punch made a big difference. I'm thinking there's a one inch. These compartments are about one inch long. So that's I a love big this difference. tool, you guys. Hopefully you can find it at Tuesday morning. Once again. If I can link these, I'll have them linked. All right, if you like this video, why not like it? Give me a big thumbs up. Also, subscribe. Share this video if you have this tool. Um, what are you using it for? And I still haven't searched any tutorials yet. Um, but yeah, this is a fun collection to have, you guys. All right, I want to thank you all for watching. As always, blessings.